Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can install the Smart Moving mod in Minecraft 1.8. Let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, we need to go to Minecraft Fortnite and Transforms. It doesn't matter. First thing in the description down below, go down there, click that. It will take you to this page where you want to uh, come down and see until you see current version 1.6.0 or current version right here. That's all you need to know. And then you want to click on Mediafire right there. It will then take us off to Mediafire, where it will prepare the download, and we can click the download button right there. Boom. Instantly downloads it. As you can see, right here it is. However, we're not done yet. We can close out everything there. Get rid of that. We need to go to the second link down below, which also takes to minecraftform.net, and we need to download the player API, which is required to run Smart Moving. To do that, you want to scroll down until you see Mediafire yet again. Click on that same process here. Click on download. Takes you off to a separate page. Close out of that and close out of that. And there we go. Now, we're still not done. We need to download one final thing, and that is Minecraft Forge, which is the third link down below. That will take you here, where you can highlight over 1.8 and then make sure 1.8 is selected. It is here. You can tell the difference. As you can see, these aren't bold. That is bolded and darker. Nevertheless, once you're here, you want to go over to Download Recommended and click on this second button, which is Installer. Click on that, and it will take you off to Add Focus, which is a lot like AdFly. It's actually the, pretty much the same thing as AdFly, except... You know, it's a le less buggier, but if you do have any issues with add focus as it loads here, it is loading. As you can see up in the top corner, it is loading. But nevertheless, once you're taken off to add focus right here, you'll have to wait six seconds up here in the top right. Once that's up, you can click the uh, skip add button. However, if you have any issues, right click and reload usually fixes it. Also, Google how to enable cookies on your browser if you have any issues. Go to the tutorials there. Bada bing, bada boom, come back and it should work for you. If it doesn't, there's nothing else I can do. Add focus is something Forge has to use to make a little bit of money back for all of the work they put into their mods. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click skip add here. And we want to keep this download, as you can see. And bada bing, bada boom, if we minimize, here are three things we download. Smart moving, which required to install smart moving is player API. And required to install both of those is Forge. I did not want to do that. Anyway, is Forge. So, Let's go ahead and get rid of these nasty looking zip files. To do that, all you want to do is right click on them and you want to either unzip or extract. You're going to have either one. If you have WinRAR or 7-Zip installed, it's going to be extract. If you don't have either of those, it's going to be unzip. Let's go ahead and click extract files or extract here. That's fine. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. You won't have to do that. And there we go. So now we have extracted these files. And as you can see, there's a change log and a readme. We don't need any of this right here. All we need is this jar file. So there's player API. And we can also delete this. Now we need to go ahead and do the same thing for smart moving. Right click on it. Extract files. Okay. Go through the dialog boxes. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Open up this folder. And then we want the smart moving core and all this. We'll just install it all here. There's that. Boom. And there you go. Now, let's go ahead and delete both of these smart moving files. Now, we can get to installing. And before we do that, though, we need to take this Forge file right here. Right click on it. Open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. It will open up this handy little, in little installer where we want to click on Install Client and click OK. It'll go through, install some things, do some stuff. Woohoo! Sexually installed Forge Client Profile. Click OK and delete the file uh, we downloaded, the Forge file that is. Now we have all of these. Let's go in at the Windows key on our keyboard and R at the exact same time. Here we don't want to type CMD, we want to type percent APP DATA percent percent app data percent. Hit enter. It will go ahead and open up this right here, this roaming folder where we want to go into dot Minecraft and find our mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, don't freak out. It's very easy to create one. Right click over here in the white space, create a new folder, type in M-O-D-S, just like that, mods, all lowercase, exactly how I have it. If it's not exactly how I have it, then it will not work. So make sure this is exactly as it is on my screen. Go ahead and open the mods folder we just created and drag all four of these things into it. Boom. There you go. Now we can go ahead and open up Minecraft, or the Minecraft launcher rather. There is that, Minecraft, Minecraft, and the launcher is opening. Once we're in the launcher, we need to make sure we select the right Forge version to play on. Specifically, we want to go to Nick's Games here, and then we want to hit Edit Profile. Then we want to go over here to Use Version. As you can see for me, it says Release 1.8.4. That's not what I'm looking for. I want to click on that and scroll all the way down to the very, 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 very bottom, and you'll really see Release 1.8 Forge. Cool. Click on that. Save Profile. Click Play. And bada bing, bada boom. I love that. I don't know why. I just I love that. I love that. It will open up Minecraft, and uh, we'll have the Smart Move in mod installed, as well as the Player API 
like API, which is what that is. Kind of like a mod that allows other mods to work off of it. But nevertheless, we'll be going to the mods folder here. As you can see, player API, smart core, smart moving, smart render, all of the things. And um, we can go into single player. We'll just jump into a creative world to show you guys it is running. And there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it. Congratulations. You've got the smart moving mod in Minecraft 1.8. Very easy to, uh, to install. As you can see down there in the chat, smart moving enabled. And uh, yeah, just there you go. It's installed. Smart moving uh, basically allows moving and easier, and uh, making it makes moving in Minecraft easier. It also makes blocks look bigger, if you can notice in some cases, right? So as you can see, this block looks a little bigger than it uh, than it normally does. I necessarily don't like a lot of what smart moving does. However, the the you know like jumping aspects and stuff, it's really good for parkour. However, um, the how it affects blocks and stuff, I don't necessarily like. But to each their own, and I hope you guys enjoy and love this mod. So nevertheless, there you guys have it. I'm Nick's Games. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome Minecraft tutorials and videos and everything every single day of the week. You will not regret it. And I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got Nick's Craft, which is an awesome Minecraft 1.8 Let's Play series where I play 1.8 vanilla to have some fun and build a mansion in the sky. Specifically, that's what I do in that episode. It's awesome. Go check it out. And down the other way, we've got how to start a server in Minecraft 1.8.4. You want a Minecraft server? Well, then check out that video. I've helped millions of people start Minecraft servers, and that video will show you how. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Thanks for watching, and I'm out, guys. Peace.